I'm making spatchcock barbecue chicken. I just prepped a bunch of veggies, some carrots, I peeled them and cut them into chunks, along with some red onion that I cut into big wedges. And I'm basically just making a bed of veggies on a sheet pan. So I'm gonna drizzle some olive oil over the veggies first, and add some salt and pepper. Very, very simple. I'll just stir the veggies together just to toss them in the oil. All right, those are set to go. So now I'm gonna spatchcock the chicken. Flip it over, breast side down. Grab a sharp pair of kitchen shears and you just wanna cut along both sides of the backbone. Now I'll flip the chicken over and then you wanna press as hard as you can until you hear that breastbone crack. And then when you get it on the pan, it'll sit semi-flat. You can see how much easier this would roast than if you kept the chicken all together. Okay, now this needs a little more olive oil just to make that skin really sizzle. And a little more salt and pepper. Now I'm gonna get the chicken into a 425 degree oven for the first stage of roasting. It'll take about 25 minutes. All right, now we're on to the second phase of the spatchcock chicken. First thing I'm gonna do is sprinkle over eight whole cloves of garlic. I'm adding them now. I didn't want them to burn, so I waited before I added them to the pan. And I'm tossing them with the veggies. They're gonna roast and become so soft and luscious. Now spatchcock barbecue chicken has to have a great sauce. And this one ticks all the boxes. Let me tell you how to make it. It's apple brown sugar barbecue sauce. And I just added a cup of ketchup to a pan, along with a cup of dark brown sugar, a fourth a cup of apple juice, half a cup of apple cider vinegar, two finely diced gala apples, half a cup of applesauce to make it really apple-y. Then I added half a teaspoon each of smoked flavoring, onion powder, garlic powder, ground ginger, and kosher salt. I stirred everything together and cooked it at a simmer for 20 minutes. Then I pureed it until it was smooth, poured it into a container, and put on the lid. I'm gonna serve half the sauce with the finished chicken, and I'm gonna use the other half to brush on the chicken. I'll give it a healthy coating now. That is a nice thick coating. Now I'm gonna get this back into the oven for 30 minutes, and I'm gonna baste the chicken every 10 minutes. Now I'm gonna remove the chicken to the cutting board, and I'm gonna carve it. I'll grab hold of the drumstick and just cut the drumstick and thigh portion, put it on the platter. Okay, last bit of veggies. And I can't forget about this beautiful sauce. So there it is, spatchcock barbecue chicken.